K defectors' testimony reveals Planned Parenthood, liberals have same agenda as KJU. It's hard to believe that a tyrannical dictatorship like North Korea and the leftist organization Planned Parenthood have something in common. Or is it? North Korea and Planned Parenthood share a simple, but important, similarity, they love killing babies. U.S. Ambassador to the UN Nikki Haley recently held a meeting on the human rights situation in North Korea. The meeting was simply called, The Terrifying Experience of Forcibly Repatriated North Korean Women. The meeting was sponsored by the United States, South Korea, Canada, France, and Japan. During the event, one defector stepped forward to share her chilling story of living under the murderous Kim Jong un regime. Fox News reported what the defector, Ji Hyena, said about the pregnant women who had been repatriated to North Korea, usually after escaping to China. Pregnant women were forced into harsh labor all day, she said. At night, we heard pregnant mothers screaming and babies died without ever being able to see their mothers. Babies dying without ever seeing their mothers. Sounds like a Planned Parenthood clinic to me. When she was three months pregnant, Ji Hyena, who had escaped to China, said she was sent back to North Korea. She told the heartbreaking story of how she was forced to have an abortion in North Korea without medication at a local police station. My first child passed away without ever seeing the world without any time for me to apologize, she said. While Planned Parenthood claims they don't force people into abortions, despite evidence to the contrary, they are known for circling young girls when they get out of their car. This helps to keep the vulnerable women from changing their minds and sparing their unborn child. Ji Hyena continued to share her thoughts on the hellhole of a country during the UN meeting. She said North Korea is a terrifying prison and the Kims are carrying out a vast massacre and it takes a miracle to survive there. Likewise, Planned Parenthood has carried out a vast massacre, killing over one million babies in 2016 alone, according to Life News. Finally, as Fox News reported, Ji Hyena finished her statements with a moving, yet chilling poem. I am scared, is anyone there? I'm here in hell. Is anyone there? I scream and yell but no one opens the door. Is anyone there? Please listen to our moans and listen to our pain. Is anyone there? People are dying, my friend is dying. I call out again and again but why don't you answer? Is anyone there? Babies without a voice are being snuffed out in the womb before they even get a chance to see the world. Who will speak for them? As Proverbs 31 to 8 states, Speak out for the one who cannot speak, for the rights of those who are doomed. This sick practice has taken the lives of millions upon millions of unborn children throughout the world, and in the scope of history it will be a horrific stain on the United States. Both Kim Jong-un and Planned Parenthood share the practice of killing babies. Both have an obvious disregard for the sacredness of human life. And both must be stopped. Stopped.